Hey folks, welcome to the coal depots up here. We're in a GP38 locomotive back in Train Sim World, and uh, we're doing some coal work today. It's not a lot, but I didn't figure we should do something ridiculous. We've got a single GP38 loco, and we've got three coal wagons here. We've got to load them up, take them down to Rockwood, and then we're moving the locomotive off to a siding. This is going to form part of a manifest train heading somewhere else, a mixed cargo train. So we're going to do our jobs. So, you know what? I didn't fancy doing the whole coal loading experience with 100 cars, 50 cars, whatever, with a Jeep unit because unlike the bigger ones, they don't have the same speed control. So, we should be good to go here. So, it's a case of reverse into forwards and knock the independent off. Brakes roll off. And we're moving. Kind of slowly. We're on a grade. No, we're not. We're flat. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, figured it'd be fun to do something a little slower, but with some more technical aspects to things. Just creeping it forwards here. Get a notch two just to get some more power going on. Probably going to want to stop here under the calling hopper until it decides to tell us what to do. Yeah, little train for us today. It's a baby train. <laughs> uh, almost looks kind of cute. A single little locomotive in three cars, but we're going to do our job here and uh, get this thing moving. Knock it down to idle so we can just roll in here. Our conductor sitting merrily doing no work. I think we want to be in a range of two miles an hour for this. We shall find out. So the hopper should open for us as we come through. Oh, God, there we go. Better view. Yep, here comes the coal. Manual speed control through the coaling station is not fun. Try and actually to get this amount of coal in the right ones. Nearly done. One more car to go. Yeah, 100%. I think once it's green, we're good, basically. But I'd like to make sure we have the right amount of coal. And we are... Apparently full, it says. Although two of them don't look remotely full. No, nope, they're apparently full from that angle. Okay, so uh, we are heading 0.6 miles over that way. Speed limit here is 15, so brakes are off. Knock the power up. Now we've got a bit of weight in the back. And we'll leave the mine behind. Beautiful day outside, actually, today. I don't mind a bit of noise if you don't. Hear that mighty engine roar. Knock the throttle down here as we are coming out to the junction. Just trying to keep a little bit of power on here and make sure we're actually doing the right speed. Yeah, this game does amaze me sometimes with how good it looks. And considering it's a train simulator, meh, I'll take it. Quite nice to... Uh, and that's why I like it, actually, over train simulator, for example, which just looks potato. Like It's the one that keeps updating every time you've had it for whatever year you've got. And it never really improves in its real kind of abilities. 
much at all. They keep saying they're improving it, but I haven't worked out yet what they're improving. Plus, without being able to get out of the cab, it kind of feels very much just like you have to drive a train, which is... Eh. I feel it loses some of the interaction that Train Sim World has, which to me is more playable as a game. You know, in and out, car, uh, cab, sorry. All the little bits and pieces like coupling, uncoupling, switching. Feels more involved. Okay, so. What have we got coming up here? I'm probably going to want to slow down here. And check on these points. Scoozy me. And down we get. And this is the bit I like. You know, it just feels a bit more like it's involved as a game. Okay, so this one is going to automatically feed us into here we've got the set right and this one is set correctly too okay perfect need to make sure though all right up on our little train back into the driver's seat and brakes are off Get this thing moving again. Nice bit of acceleration off it there. And down the siding, and I'm assuming this is where we're dropping our coal cars, so we don't want to go too fast for the next 200 yards. Look at that river down there. That is pretty. The game is looking astonishingly good today. Hmm. I do like this little branch line at the mine. There are several other, should we say, missions that are here, but all of them are like two hours long and there's no way I can make that into a video. Okay. What are we doing here? Oh, go via. through there pick up a bit of motion 0.8 miles up here to Rockwood which I believe is where we're dropping off this little package come on a little bit of power that's what we need a little bit of power it's a horribly slow speed run here today but We'll do our best. Come on. Knock the power down there. And it's time for our customary adventure to somewhere that's not where I'm meant to be. Whee! So this is a coal car. car. I don't think I can climb on this one. Probably not, no. Ooh, I can climb up this though. Whee, I'm on top of the train. That's coal, see? We're carrying coal. Mm -hmm. I should probably not be on top of the train whilst I'm meant to be driving it. No, nope, that's the door. That's there, that's the window. And of course I'm speeding. Whoopsie. Slow down, God damn it! slow down. This is what happens when I go climb on top of the train. I end up speeding, and that's bad. 0.5% downgrade now. Should take us through to Rockwood. Yeah, we're picking up a bit of speed here. Let's stick a bit of independence on. Yeah, let's just slow us down a smidgeroonie. And we should be good to go. 
I must say, I absolutely love sim games. I've probably said this in other videos in the past, but they're relaxing. Hopefully you guys find them relaxing too. But to me, they're just relaxing to play because once you learn what you're doing, it's a simple process of doing a job or a task. Enjoying the scenery. And simply having fun, relaxing. It's a very different pace to a lot of other games. Oh my god, stay still screen. There we go. Controller view. Still not a controller natural burst and things. I came from PC gaming, so using a controller to do my looking around is weird. So when I get up, we switch to mouse, which is why some things become way more fluid. Three hundred yards to our stopping point here at Rockwood with our little engine that could and the littlest coal delivery. <laughs> Unless we're taking this to a local industry, which could also be a thing. Okay, here's our spot. Nope, this is a red. Yeah, we've got a red signal there, so we're stopping here. We'll probably be putting this on the siding, I think. This feels like a main line though, so we're putting this on one of these sidings. Nope, not far enough forwards by four yards. Of course. Thank you, game. Okay, we're stopped here at Rockwood. Clear to proceed. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, I'm uncoupling them here. Okay, we're just dropping them on the line. Fair enough. You don't think you could ever do anything, could you? No, you're just going to sit here and criticize me. Got it. So we're just dumping these guys right on the main. Screw it, whatever. Okay. There we go. And we're going to have to move this bad boy. Probably onto the siding here. Oh, we're going all the way around there. Okay, so we'll leave these things on the line and we'll just pull away. Bye-bye, Cole. See you later. We're just going to leave you here on the main line, which feels kind of wrong, but that's what the game's telling me to do, so that's what we're going to do. Just leave some coal sitting on the main line. Not a big deal. So now we're under light power. With a pretty view down there to the river valley. We're going to head up to the sidings. I think this may also still be partially siding here. I think it actually is because we've not reached the actual curve out to the main line yet. So I think we're still sidings. But it feels weird to just be dropping those cars on the line itself. Not tucked to the siding. Never mind. Not my problem. They tell me when to do it, I do it. Okay. And this is the main line ahead of us that goes basically there. So we're pulling around this corner. Okay, and this is us coming onto the main line now. Oh, 
Oh, my brakes have been on the whole time. I'm an idiot. No wonder I needed so much power to keep moving. Yeah, we're looking good behind us. Okay, we're going to be stopping on here probably and we'll find a spot to park up. No point accelerating because we have to stop in a moment. Okay. Okay, and bingo. Alright, objective complete. We are to back up. Um, okay. I wonder if this has the same feature as some of the other ones where I could turn this around. No, it does not. Well, let's get rolling back down the main. long hood is a bit of a pain, but we can see past it just fine. Well, we have a curve this way, I guess. We do need to check, though, what route we're going to be taking. Oh, we're going on to here, so... Okay. So, we'll... Pull off the main just and then we'll bring it to a halt. Need to time this one correctly so I can actually see where I'm going. Don't want to be sat out here on the main too long. Can't see much. When we start turning is when I start braking. Uh, this doesn't feel right. Yes, it does. Okay, stop here. Do this quickly whilst we're on the main. Don't be sitting around here too long. Oh, it's apparently automated, so... Damn it, I could have stayed in the cab. <laughs> Half these ones aren't automated, but you can't tell, and the rest of them are automated. They'll be sitting there at the uh, engine house going, What the hell is she doing? Let's get off the main out of the way so traffic can flow again. Rather than a stupid switcher engine sitting out there on the main line. Just blocking things up. Alright, bring the loco back into the engine house and we should be good. sure we're backed up properly here. There we go. So, that was a little mission of moving some coal wagons around and parking up a locomotive, I guess, at the head of the mine. So, it was shorter perhaps than some of them have been in the past, but I don't know. I thought it was pretty involved and fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.